Okay, so uh, this is an optional part for section 3.8 and uh, I do think, you know, it's helpful for the future studies, especially CAL 2.3 um, and maybe CAL 2.4 and other uh, math courses, okay? And I'm going to go through very briefly to talk about how to take the derivative of the function like a to the power of x, okay? a uh, is not necessary to have the base of the natural number e. It can be any number as long as it's greater than zero. Meanwhile, we also want to talk about how to take the derivative of log base of a of x and same in this picture here, okay? Uh, so the idea actually is very straightforward, guys, okay? So remember that uh, the relationship between the natural logarithm and natural exponential here, you see, uh, e a to the power of x, we can rewrite it into e to the power of log of a to the power of x, okay? Uh, and keep in mind here that, guys, here this um, e to the power of log, these are inverse of each other, so um, as you will see that we can always play the cancellation thing in this, so uh, that's why how do we, how we, we get this, okay? And meanwhile, you see, this log of a to the power of x, we can based on the properties about the logarithmic bring this in in front of this uh, natural log. Um, okay, so what we can do is if we are taking the derivative of a to the power of x, it's equivalent to take the derivative of this. And the derivative of this part, as you can tell which is e to the power of x times log of a, right? And then multiply the derivative of its inside function, which is this piece. Uh, remember here, guys, this log of a is a constant and times x. So this part is going to become this e to the power of x times log of a times uh, log of a, okay? And, uh, you know, we can also replace this back because this is equal to a to the power of x. So hence, um, the derivative of a to the power of x actually equals uh, a to the power of x itself and then times log of a. And you can verify this with, uh, you know, if we substitute x with uh, a with the natural number e, so the derivative of a to the power of x, we know is itself, um, but also you can see that it's e to the power of x times log of e, which is one. So yeah, so this is um, part of this. So the derivative of a to the power of x is a to the power of x times log of a. Okay. And similarly, if we are trying to figure out what is the derivative of a law um, based on ax, uh, there is actually a, a also a property about the change of base for the logarithmic. We can rewrite this into log of x over log of a. Uh, let them have the same base natural number e here. So to take the derivative of this is equivalent to take the derivative of this part. As you recall uh, from the first half part, the derivative of log of x equals 1 over x, right? So this problem is going to be 1 over x times 1 over log of a. In fact, guys, we can even take the 1 over log of a out because it's a constant, okay? So the derivative of log base of a x equals 1 over x times a 1 over log a. Again, uh, if you set a equals natural number e, that is going to give you log of x, we know the derivative is 1 over x. If you substitute it here, it's 1 over x times 1 over log of e, log of e equals 1, so it's still log of x, okay? So this is the part. And, uh, we can even expand the, this or extend this uh, into a more general situation. Suppose we have a function like uh, a to the power of u. Again, u is a function of x. And uh, how to take the derivative of that? We're going to use the chain rule. That is a to the power of u times log of a times du dx. Okay? So, for example, uh, if we try to figure out 3 to the power of 3x squared plus 4x plus 9, what's the derivative of this? Well, again, a equals 3, and 
this is u. So it's doing copy, which is 3x, uh, 3x squared plus 4x plus 9, and then times log of 3, and then times the version of the inside function, which give us a 6x plus 4. Okay. One thing I like to rearrange this into 6x plus 4 times 3, 3x squared. So this is how do we do this. Uh, and uh, for a logarithmic, if you have a function like a log a of u of the u function of x, and the derivative is again is 1 over log of a times 1 over u, and then times u dx. Okay. So for example, uh, we have log base of 5, 3x squared plus 9. And then to follow this, we're going to have is 1 over log 5 times 1 over 3x squared plus 9 and then times the derivative of log of 2 which is 6x and if you put all together we're going to have 6x over log 5 times 3x squared plus 9 again coincidence of this again this part is a, is an optional thing and uh, you know, so um, so I'll stop here and I'll see you in the next lecture.